I'm Fraser Keir, Birkbeck's Academic Registrar, and I'm really delighted to welcome you to Birkbeck's virtual graduation and to take this opportunity to congratulate you on reaching this milestone in your studies. We know it's been an incredibly difficult year for most of you because of the global pandemic. I'm really pleased that you've made it here today to celebrate and to mark your fantastic achievements alongside family, friends, and of course, your fellow students. We know that today will be different to our usual in-person graduation ceremonies, but we have worked hard to ensure that it mirrors the spirit of them, and we hope you'll feel it does. We'll also be hosting in-person celebratory events for you so that you can meet your classmates and lecturers once it is safe to do so, and we'll let you know more about these at a later date. Before we start today's event, we have some housekeeping information for you. Please keep your microphone muted until the round of applause after each group's names are announced. We hope you'll take part in giving a big round of applause to celebrate our graduate successes at that point. Now you should be able to change the screen on the device you're watching on today. If you can, we suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all the videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your virtual room, but this will make the videos appear smaller. And if you're watching on an iPad or iPhone, you may need to scroll to another screen to see everyone in your group. I would like to remind you that um, today's event has been recorded, is currently being live streamed on YouTube, and the recording will also be made available after the event. We'll start today's event with some messages for move before moving on to the awards. Thank you very much for taking part and um, I hope you will enjoy it. Welcome to this graduation ceremony in which above all, we celebrate the achievements of you, our graduates. Those are the words that I begin my address at normal graduation ceremonies held in person in the Senate House. But of course, they are even more true today under these very special circumstances. Normally, Birkbeck students have to juggle their work commitments, their family commitments with their studies, and they succeed in doing so and graduating successfully. But you, the graduating class of 2021, have had to do so much more. The pandemic has had obviously a huge impact and you may well have had many difficulties, perhaps difficulties with your health, difficulties with childcare and homeschooling, or simply with the strength of the Wi-Fi signal for online tutorials and lectures. And yet you have overcome all those difficulties and you have successfully graduated and today is about saluting those achievements and that is why I have chosen to speak personally at each of our graduation ceremonies rather than pre-recording my remarks to try in some small way and say to you as personally as I can well done. I also want to congratulate and thank your relatives and friends and partners who have perhaps had to make unusual sacrifices in order to make sure that you're graduating today. Perhaps they had to deal with childcare. Perhaps they had to allow you the use of the laptop and the, and the kitchen table when you needed to work online. And we thank them for all their assistance. But I have another message for you, the relatives, partners and friends, and that is that Birkbeck is for everyone. You too can study at Birkbeck. You too can get your revenge. Seize back the kitchen table and the laptop and come and study at Birkbeck. And perhaps in a year or two's time, I'll be able to congratulate you face to face on your achievements in graduating with a Birkbeck degree. Also, of course, we must pay tribute to the efforts of Birkbeck staff who have gone out of their way to ensure the continuity of the teaching experience under very difficult conditions. We managed last spring to put all our teaching online very quickly and with very short notice. Over the summer, our dedicated staff took numerous courses in order to make sure that in the autumn, they could deliver to you the very best online education. And of course, 
as we see, students and prospective students have responded to that offer. We have seen record student numbers enrolling in the academic year 2021 and still greater numbers applying for admission in the autumn of 2021. Clearly, whatever the disastrous effects of the pandemic, they have made people think about the need to change career, the need to perhaps improve their skills to do their current job better or in a different way, or perhaps the need to set up their own business. Whatever the case, Birkbeck is catering for all those people and will continue to do so. But we need, and we need your assistance as alumni, we need you to join us in lobbying government to say how important the lifelong learning, the ability for part-time study at Birkbeck, how important that is in today's world. Government has recognised that. It's introducing a lifelong learning allowance in 2025, which for the first time will specifically support lifelong learning. But we need to do more. We need to urge government to act now post-Brexit and hopefully soon post-pandemic. There is a need for more support for part-time, more support for students who are doing short courses to retrain, who are ineligible currently for loans. And so we need to your support in doing that. We need you to become part of our alumni community. 60,000 alumni in 140 countries worldwide. We want you to join them and to remain associated with them. And we have launched the Our Birkbeck Initiative, in which we're asking students and graduates to tell us about what you did benefiting from, from Birkbeck. What are you doing now in your society? What are you actually doing to benefit other people? So that we build up a war chest, if you like, of stories of how Birkbeck people have influenced their communities and other people's lives. And this, of course, is tremendously important as we move to the 200th anniversary of Birkbeck. But there will be 200 in two years' time. Very few institutions reach a 200th anniversary milestone. Even fewer do it in a way that the founder would recognize. If George Birkbeck would somehow get through the online security precautions and join us on, in this Zoom event, he would not understand about master's degrees in organizational psychology and so on, or in economics, but he would understand what the purpose of Birkbeck is, because the purpose of Birkbeck is the same as it's been for 198 years. The education of working people, allowing you to gain further qualifications in a way that suits you. That history is a proud history, and you have now joined that history. A couple of years ago, I went to a meeting of business leaders, and when I was introduced, one of them said to me, ah, Birkbeck. When I see Birkbeck on a CV, I put it to the top of my pile because your students have the commitment that I want in my business. How much more is that true of you, the graduating class of 2021? When people look back on the history of Birkbeck in this period, they will say, you did something exceptional, something different from all the other graduating classes. You graduated under the tremendous difficulties of the pandemic and you achieved your aims despite all those difficulties. On behalf of myself and the entire Birkbeck community, I congratulate you and salute your achievements. Thank you. This has certainly been the most challenging year, and we're incredibly proud of you all for having made it to graduation. We would have loved to have been there in the Senate House, seeing you all in your gowns and graduation hats, meeting your family and friends, taking pictures, and sharing in this very special moment. Please do keep in touch, and if you're ever in the Bloomsbury area, drop by once we are allowed to do so. So from everyone here in the Department of Economics, Mathematics and Statistics, a huge well done and many, many congratulations. Graduation in 2021, what a year it has been. Time passed slow and fast at the same time. I can't quite yet believe that we are here. You are the cohorts who, who submitted their dissertations, their management research projects, their consultancy challenges during a global pandemic. So very, very well done for making it to this point. We are so happy to celebrate today with you. 
and I'm going to hand you over now to my colleague Kevin. Hi everyone, um, we're so happy for you today um, and what we want to do is we want to acknowledge some of the key people that we think have been part of your journey uh, and I'm going to start off with actually recognizing the community of people who were supporting you and who are part of the experience for you here at Birkbeck and those are our unsung heroes, our administrators working in the background, um, our library support team, our learning um, coordinators and of course across the last year IT support and digital education as well. We also acknowledge our uh, wonderful tutors who were there with you throughout your journey and of course academic colleagues as well and really on behalf of everyone we want to say that it's been our privilege uh, and, our, and a blessing to have been part of this experience um, for you and on that if you just join me uh, in putting your hands together to acknowledge um, and thank all these people. Next one, uh, let's uh, thank, give a big thank you to the people supporting you behind the scene, your family and uh, your friends who have been listening to your complaints, share your joy or achievements after you submit your assessments. And also I believe they really miss you from the family or friends gathering events. I think after this graduation, you definitely have a good reason to celebrate it together and that's hold your hands again to give them a big thank you. And of course, we want to give you a tremendous thank you and acknowledgement to all of you, our amazing students and learners. We want to acknowledge the hard work and all the sacrifice that all of you have made in this exceptional year. You've made it. We're all so proud of you and really very honored to be a part of your journey. Thank you. And finally, a reflection, as Almuth indicated at the start of this message about the year that we've just lived through. You've been a very special cohort to us because you were with us at the time when the pandemic started. You were with us as lockdown came into effect and suddenly we were all catapulted virtually into each other's rooms at home uh, in a way that none of us would have possibly foreseen when you started the programs that you're now graduating from. Uh, we all had to learn together how to learn a new way, completely online, uh, in, in very difficult and challenging circumstances when many of you were homeschooling, having to move your own day jobs uh, online as well, and juggling perhaps unexpected caring and other responsibilities, as indeed we were too. Um, and so we will always remember you as a very special cohort because you were part of that learning journey with us and we were part of that learning journey for you. Um, and I reflect on some of the sessions where we use the modules as a lens for thinking about the pandemic. Um, and I hope that those modules and the programmes that you've just successfully completed continue to provide a lens for thinking about life. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca, for these poignant words. So please, all of you, stay in touch. Remember, we've got our yearly summer seminar and our Alec Roger lecture, which is always a wonderful way for our community to come back together. Our doctoral graduates, we wish you so much luck with taking your work out into the field now. Those of you who haven't done a thesis yet and have not yet enrolled for a doctoral programme, there is time yet. So. We hope we stay in touch with all of you and best of luck for the future from all of us. And bye for now. Master, President and distinguished guests, I present the following graduates from the School of Business, Economics and Informatics. MSc Applied Statistics, Ruth Butler Lee, Kaushik Chowdhury, Zishan Yusuf, MSc Applied Statistics and Financial Modelling, 
Deborah Agbabiaka Graham, MSc Economics, Katie Baxter, Zoe Forbes, Ashita Gaglani, Aaron Golter, Benjamin King, Joseph Levine, Charles Morn, Stephanie Ostermeyer, Senthuran Rudran, Postgraduate Diploma Finance, Radost Petrova, MSc Finance, Letizia Ashatino, Vojdan Babushkovsky, Alessandro Capozzi, Richard Davies, Justin Grigg, Catherine Imir Caval Hero, Janice Krumins, Takesha Thomas, and Kamal Verk. If I can ask you all now to unmute your microphones and give yourselves all a round of applause, please. MSc Finance with Commodities, Adadotan Adiagbo. MSc Financial Economics, Olawadalapu Kalisho. BSc Honours Financial Economics with Accounting, Paul Lau. MSc Financial Risk Management, Avinash Sharma. MSc Mathematical Finance, Kumar Gaurav, Trung Fan, Andrew Ronaldson. Graduate Certificate Mathematics, Kalutara Amara Dasa. BSc Honours Mathematics, Kizito Mfandi, Rebecca Yao, Tyler Carriage. MSc Mathematics, Toby O'Sullivan, Christine Ray, Oliver Turnbull. MSc Mathematics and Financial Modelling, Jan Kasper, Thomas Obitz. MSc Politics, Philosophy and Economics, James Bacon. Zingara Chiarotti Campana Mendez. Simon Greaves. Oliver Mupenda. Joshua Mutio. Arnulfo Oshla. Again, if I can ask you to unmute your microphones and give yourselves a round of applause, please. <laughs> <clears throat> MSc Career Management and Coaching Jacqueline Fairchild Sharisha Haynes Karen Howarth Mary Jordan Paul Lowcock Kate Mara Patience Sarumi Postgraduate Certificate in Coaching Victoria Burns Hugh Goldsmith Karim Harris, Peter Giri, Francis Manelli. MSc Human Resource Development and Consultancy, Titileo Ayula, Maria Davusian, Paula Lugo Arroyo, Rita Pakanish Kita. If you can unmute your microphones and uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> MSC Human Resource Management, Vazim Ahmed, Eleni Apoxudi, Riona Athisigaram, Fatmata Bar, Lorraine Chigaru, Daniela Chinte, Lauren Daly, Adrian Davis, Zoe Dixon, Tracian Uno Baptiste, Rika Calio, Renelwi Lequape, Nicolitsa Octara, Yasmin Sali, Alexandra Solomon, Catherine Stedman, Lucy Swinburne, Lucilla Torres Menendez, Sophia Tucker, Prince Will Urim, Dimitra Vasilopoulou, Emily Walford, Sonia Voje Hoska, Weike Zhang. If you could unmute your microphones, please, and a round of applause. Yeah. 
Yay! I'm wrong, but. <laughs> MSC Management Consultancy and Organisational Change, Mohamed Dabas, Kitso de Kube, Fiona Murray, Simi Pada, Agairo Papadima, Tazi Smith. Postgraduate Diploma, Medical Leadership, Kathleen Bryce, MSC Medical Leadership, Andrew Steele, Sanjiwa Suma Thipala, Frank Vogel. MSc Occupational Psychology, Makeda Cole, Estefania Hernandez Alvarez, Andrew Tope. PhD Occupational Psychology, Samantha Evans, and the title of the thesis, Struggles for Distinction, Class and Class Inequality in UK Museum Work. Postgraduate Certificate in Organisational Behaviour, Beverly Sims, MSc Organisational Behaviour, Lorcan Carroll, Olive Goulet Lazur, Shoal Kaniko, Hayley Wise. If you could all unmute your microphones and give yourselves a round of applause, please. Thank you. MSc Organisational Psychology, Maria Abela, Kelsa Albert, Eleanor Aston, Hannah Backhaus, Michael Bass, O'Reilly Bernardoni, Barbara Berros, Louise Bintliff, Alicia Birthright, William Black, Alana Bushnell, Alice Cadwigan, Valerie Charlamova, Naomi Collins, Seron Constance, Natalie Deadman, Fabiola Dawn, Savannah Duggan, Lucy Good, Francesca Hardy, Franz Hetzer, Claire Hutchison, Sarah Ilyas, Meredith Jones, Jonathan Knight. If you could. Unmute your microphones and a round of applause, please. <laughs> MSc Organisational Psychology, Jacob Korzecki, Kaylee Lisher, Lucy Maddox, Elaine Meg Magbag. Stamatina Maruga, Stephen Matha, Victoria Maxfield, Anna Mutsiu, Inez Nebi. MSc Organisational Psychology, Kleena Odi, Stephanie O'Reilly, Gina Osman, Claire Pash, Alexandria Pace, Annabel Parkin. Michael Phillips, Angela Scott, Aisha Shams, Mosin Siddiqui, Shaweta Siva Shankar, Kirsty Sanayed, Lama Starling, Jane Stewart, Edith Stokes. If you could all unmute your microphone, please, and a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> MSc Organisational Psychology, Christina Swan, Sandy Tade, Alicia Townsend, Christina Tazbelli, Banu Uzbekova, Marta Valente, Ian Vella, Claire Walsh, Abigail White, Rebecca Williams, Sharika Wirasakara. PhD Organisational Psychology, Helen Cooper, um, and the title of the thesis, Taxi, a narrative study of low skilled work from a career boundary perspective. I could ask you all to unmute your microphones and a round of applause, please.
MSC Management Consultancy and Organisation Change, Alessio Anuli, M. Histocolis Pagudis, M. Rez in Occupational Health, Psychology and Management, Clifford Jones, MSC Organisational Behaviour, Alyssa Wood, MSC Organisational Psychology, Catherine Byrne, Jalisa Damu, Lavin Tyson, Luke Woolen, Martin Farrington. MSC Finance, Mustafa Syed, Tatiana Regini, Thibault Chere. MSC Human Resource Management, Sherry Paul. Graduate Diploma in Economics, Kem Ranabat. I could ask you all to unmute your microphones and a round of applause, please. <laughs> This concludes the presentation of graduates from the School of Business, Economics and Informatics. I'd like to thank you all very much for attending this virtual graduation today. Congratulate you all on your success. and wish you the very best for the future. I will now hand you over to my colleague. Congratulations to all graduates today. Please take some time to celebrate after what I'm sure have been years of hard work. I'm Gareth Thomas. I graduated in 2015 with an MSc in Medical Leadership from Birkbeck. By background, I'm a consultant in intensive care medicine. Since my graduation from Birkbeck, I've worked in various leadership roles in health and care. And all of these roles have allowed me to lead teams which improve care for patients and citizens. Currently, I'm working as Deputy National Chief Clinical Information Officer at NHSX. Here, I work with a great team to have systems level impact across health and care for the population of England. Together, we apply digital technology to transform health and care and deliver an improved service. It's a privilege to work in this manner, and without doubt, this would not have been possible without my learnings from Birkbeck. I hope that you have enjoyed your time at Birkbeck. For me, the experience was life changing and has enabled me to transition through my current roles. It's enabled me to see work and life in general terms through different lenses. And it has changed the way I think and continues to open up numerous opportunities in life. My experience at Birkbeck reinforced in me the need for lifelong learning. It taught me that this learning can start at any time. And it also demonstrated to me the need to evolve as an individual across the course of a career. What would I say to my graduating self and also to you as individuals today? I think in general, if a, a door opens up in life, then walk through it. Be flexible in your approach. Take calculated risks. I've never regretted any leap which I have taken. Support yourself by seeking mentoring and coaching opportunities and actively build networks. Play to your strengths, build an excellent team around you, inspire and work with them. And as your career evolves, follow your instincts whilst keeping a really tight focus on what is it that you want to achieve in life. Many congratulations to you all again today and best wishes for your future careers. Hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to reach out to you like this on such an important occasion, your graduation. My very best congratulations to all of you on this very special day. Congratulations of having stuck it out, having completed your course and earned your degree. Well done to each one of you. Now the pandemic of course is dominating our lives and continues to do so and probably will do for some time to come yet. But not all of it has been doom and gloom. I've found time to read and I've rather enjoyed reading poetry. 
There's a poem by Robert Frost, you probably know, and I've read it again. It's called The Road Not Taken. And it begins, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And it goes on to tell how he couldn't decide which of two beautiful roads to take. And he regretted that he could only choose one of them. It ends, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Well, I think that thought seems particularly appropriate at the moment and in many ways, and for you too. The country has to decide which way to go about lockdown, about vaccines, about opening shops and restaurants, about letting us have holidays. And each of us now faces choices of our own, diverging roads in our lives. You are now facing such choices with the added excitement of having achieved something momentous in your life, your Birkbeck degree. The times could not be more auspicious for making such choices. That's your good fortune. Do you continue to work from home? Do you change jobs? Do you move to the country away from city life as many are now trying to do? Apparently inquiries for buying homes in Cornwall has never been this high. Or do you attend to the more practical, important things of life? Do you consider what your future life will be like? What scope does your new qualification give you to make many of these choices? Might you change track? Take up further study? I know you could even become an artist. My programme, Portrait Artist of the Week, which ran on Sky Television right through the lockdown, had some 2,000 artists who came online to take part, a little like Grayson Perry, but perhaps a little bit more serious. Um, and they were artists who worked at home all the time. That was their way of earning a living. They didn't earn very much. They worked in a shed and they were totally happy with what they're doing. So other lives do cast an idea for us on what might be possible. Now, I'm not suggesting rush off and become artists, but what I'm saying is life has many different roads to take. Will you plan how you could live on less money? Will the employment you have be shifting and with it your own options? There's never been a time more dense with options, with divergence in the road. And you are now faced with them to an extraordinary degree. There's something appropriate about that word degree. So now the whole crisis may, of course, have thrown you into despair. I myself had a couple of really heavy bouts of depression, prompted by the thought that this pandemic had stolen a year of my life. Well, depressions do pass if you're fortunate. And I'm now resuming the life I thought I knew, only to find that many things have already changed without my knowing it. The traffic routes through London, for example, are all different to what I knew before. So, the way, so are the ways that people shop and the ways people eat. And that will be true of your life too. Whatever the future holds, this is the time for you to have a say in it. Not just choosing for your personal life which route to take, but in your life as a citizen too. The future of education will be changing. And the way Birkbeck works will probably change with it. I think the way Birkbeck works will become more popular and more suitable for many people's ways of life. So spread the message, won't you? Tell them how you've enjoyed studying and what success you've had. Tell people around you about Birkbeck and how it tries to accommodate people's working lives so it can add value to them. Knowledge makes life richer and yours has now become richer too. Congratulations, everyone.
Welcome to the Birkbeck Alumni Community. You might be in the UK or much further afield. It might be morning, afternoon or evening. Wherever you are right now, we as fellow members of the Birkbeck Alumni Community want to send our congratulations to you for what you've achieved. Completing a course at Birkbeck in normal circumstances is by no means an easy endeavour. So what you have accomplished is really something truly special. Today you are graduating and you should take a moment to reflect what a huge accomplishment this is. Completing your studies does not mean the end of your Birkbeck journey. You are joining a community of over 60,000 alumni in over 140 different countries. So no matter where you are in the world, you won't be far from a fellow Birkbeck graduate. There are lots of exciting events, activities and opportunities for you to stay connected with Birkbeck. Visit bbk.ac.uk forward slash alumni to find out more and update your contact details. We are proud to share this day with you. Have a wonderful time celebrating. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.